Hello YouTube, Bushcraft Woods Devil here. Today I'm uh, going to film part three of uh, the Commando Axe. And part three is going to be actual chopping exercise. I've been testing different uh, hand axes that I own all morning and um, this is the last one. Uh, this piece of log here is about four and a half to five inches in diameter and about 16 inches in circumference. Um, so we're going to see what this inexpensive three-piece axe can do. Will it hold up? Uh, will it break? I'm really kind of worried about this juncture right here where the head threads onto the handle. There's not much there. So I'm really worried about this holding up. Uh, but we'll see. It's the only thing you can do is test it, see what it'll do. And uh, if it breaks, you throw it away and move on. And if it holds up, well, we'll be impressed. One thing I, I expect will happen will be this will work its way loose uh, from use and impact on the log. So we'll have to check it. I'm sure it's not going to chop as fast as my other axes have this morning. And I don't think it's going to chop as well, but we'll test it. We'll see what it can do. So I'm going to set my watch here. It's about 11, no, 12.50 a.m. So we'll see how many minutes it takes to cut through this. I've got some logs between me for safety so I don't slip and chop into myself. So here we go. Yep. Came loose right there. One of the things I'm finding, this isn't loosening as much as these rubber pieces are slipping around. I think if you put something grippy under them, uh, might actually help a little more. This is a workout.
really getting loose now. Five minutes. That's pretty respectable. That's actually uh, pretty much right on par with all the other hand axes I used this morning. A SOG Fast Hawk, a Track of the Wolf Tomahawk. Uh, the SOG Fast Hawk I think weighed right around a pound and had a uh, cutting area of about two inches. The uh, Track of the Wolf uh, has about a four inch cutting uh, blade and uh, I think it weighed around one and a half pounds. And then a Collins uh, uh, Camp Axe from Ace Hardware. And uh, I think that turned in the fastest time at three minutes and had a pound and a quarter head uh, with about a three inch cutting area. Uh, I was pretty impressed with the Collins. And then finally, this Chinese made commando axe, uh, two pounds, three pieces. And uh, I forget cutting area, three inches. Three inches. Let's take a look at the threads. If there's any cracks here, fatigue or anything. I'm fatigued. <laughs> Kick this old guy's butt. Um, no? Nothing going on there. Like I said, the problem I was experiencing, this head wasn't canting on this as much as this was slipping around. So. If I use Gorilla Glue or something that'll bond these to the uh, tube, I think I'd have, I, w I would have probably done it faster uh, because that was what I was fighting was the slippage and then the blade would cant and my cut wouldn't go true. But I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm really impressed that uh, this held up. I fully expected it to break. and. Uh, it didn't. And it actually did a respectable job. I mean, I'm no great woodsman. I'm sure there are guys out there among you who are probably looking at this going, that guy does not know how to use an axe. Uh, and it, that's part of the learning curve, is you have to get out and experiment with these things and try them. Uh, this is how you learn. Be safe. Uh, make sure you do this on your knees. My thanks to my friends Indy um, and uh, Dan from uh, Dan from Hollow uh, Hard, Hardwood Hollow Bushcraft. Great guy with a lot of good advice, a lot of good experience in woods uh, processing, and uh, Indy too, um, uh, who gave me a lot of good advice. So be safe. Put something between you and and the project you're cutting. Uh, Watch the fatigue. When you get tired, you're going to make mistakes. This is when accidents happen. Don't push yourself. Um, better to cut slower and avoid an accident than to have an accident. So I'll post uh, this up and I'll probably have it on my blog too, uh, goblinranger.blogspot.com. I'll post photos of the other cuts uh, 
made with the other axes and times so you can kind of get a comparison. So that's it for today, part three. Bud K uh, is where this came from, commando axe. Um, not junk, not junk. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you later.